I got those. What is up, Rap Potential YouTube, and welcome to a super awesome video for this guy right here. Getting a truck. He's getting a truck from Charles, but not just any truck. So, we got the trailer ready. We're getting ready to load up. So you can see the back of it right there. But look at this thing. So affectionately known as Vert Truck. The truck has been around for quite a while in the Tennessee Rotary Group. Um, I have a really sweet picture of it from way back in the day them driving it to cars and stuff had like a wooden bed on it and all sorts of cool stuff Just been chilling at Charles house. No motor um, It's kind of Spare parts put together and it's gonna keep being that but we got the steering box hooked up the body and the bed are definitely not bolted down And this is gonna be Calvin's truck. We're gonna make it a dirt drag truck. We got it. BFG ATs for this thing should be slick. So we're gonna get this on the trailer. Then we'll, uh, we'll talk to Calvin on the way home about the plans for this thing. But it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. What, the Chevy brake? No, using oh. the battery off the truck. The well, the jumper cables? The trailer. Jumper cables reach that far? No, but Charles has a set. Oh, okay. Two sets of jumper cables reach that far. Mega. This is Calvin's dad's daily driver. It's mint. It's pretty nice. 270,000 miles on it. It's got the MSS rims. It's got a 350 and a 4L60E, so basically the same as like my Chevy. But it's five lug, baby truck, and it rips for being a little truck. AC, mint interior, 20 MPG. Alright guys, if you haven't seen the video, Calvin and I put this truck together, painted it for Charles last winter, so I'll link the video over here. But uh, basically, we took the truck to my house, we were going to do the body work and stuff, and then uh, I took it home, painted it, the whole thing in 10 days, and then gave it back to Charles, it was awesome, so we'll do a video on that truck soon. <laughs> Stepped in the poo. Look at this unit. Oh man. Oh, one of the lights is working. <laughs> hey, you got this. Hey, I should have just listened to what you said the first time. Hey, you got this. What the same last name was? Powers? Austin? I 
soon as I started backing up, I realized like that fence gets tighter. I'm not going to be able to make this turn. Nope. <laughs> no, I still didn't back up far enough. You got it. You got it. Don't worry. We're not in any hurry. T bell's open late. So we got all the motor bits, carburetor for the white one, the rest of the motor bits, put this thing together. And then those of you that know, my reaper glass is cracked. So this is, we've been storing this reaper glass on the front of this one because it's just like, it ain't gonna break if it's laying there. So this is for my truck. We'll put it in nice mint repo glass. These are motor parts. Which is actually the engine that used to be in my truck a long time ago before I put my turbo two motor in it. So we're gonna rebuild this for that, for Calvin. So we're gonna go home and probably pressure wash this thing off. Crusty. All right, guys, Calvin got the truck cleaned. I'm hiding back here. He's getting ready. Got the old daily driver rig packed up. So he's hauling some wheels for me. Back home to get new tires put on them. Um, just the old tires from his dad's Camaro will fit on these and I can run them on the trailer, um, which would be good. His bike, pull saw. I made a big mess. We got a fire going. I cut all the limbs. As this thing extends, I cut all the limbs that I could reach. It's good. Do you have the cap for that? Yeah, it's under that tire. Okay, perfect. So Calvin, tell us what your goal is for this unit. What are we going to do? goal is to make it run and drive. From there, I haven't entirely decided yet. There's a few ways we could go. Do some custom suspension work. Try and get it back to stock. I don't know yet. I mean, clearly, we got enough missing that we could go just about any route. I mean, the floor is... You could consider it almost non-existent. If you step on it, it kind of moves. So, I'm not a big fan of that. We'll have to fix that for sure. This is the anti-theft steering wheel. <laughs> so, I don't know that that'll stay. <laughs> probably not. Maybe not. So, repo rust probs. There's an evap canister here. This commonly rusts out. Fenders get dirt and stuff in them. Commonly rusts out. If you're wondering why it says Dorf on the front, uh, this is actually it's actually a Ford Courier, but it has a repo bed and repo fenders, and, and it's a on a repo frame. frame. And so, it's had a repo firewall put in it. And it has a repo firewall. So what all that stuff gives you is, like, you can run the Mazda brake booster, all that stuff, versus the Ford junk. Um, and then it does have a hood latch. This thing also has. Come on. This one. Pop up on that corner. There it is. This one also has a spring hood, and then you can see here the engine mount. Dude, I think that subframe will fit in here. There's a ton of room. That's flat. And it's up pretty high, but we'd have room that wouldn't like raise it up really high. We could slam it. Cut the rockers off. Make this thing lay the frame on the ground? No, uh, we just get some titanium hockey pucks. Sparks. Sparks for days. Need bags. So this is like the repo firewall section here. You can see the the whole fenders are all, inner fenders are cut out to put the repo fenders on and not the courier ones. It's got a repo core support. So, pretty sweet truck though. Well. It, uh, we're gonna make it custom, it's gonna be cool. Calvin's gonna figure out, there's a spare roof here. They figure out how to make a hard top for this. And then also you were saying you're gonna build a bikini top or put a roll bar on it. Yeah. So we can build a bikini top for this unit. So I'd like to do a roll bar, whether it's in the bed or in the cab. i do it either way, I haven't figured that all out yet. And then do a bikini top to just cover it. So that if I'm not using the hard top, because it probably won't be on there very often, I can still have a sunshade. Yeah. So. Heck yeah. Uh, Alright guys, so 
another project. This one is probably going to be one where like we don't touch it for a while, but then when we do touch it, we do a lot of work. <laughs> so it'll be like, okay, we're going to go ahead and put these other subframes Calvin has on it. Or okay, we're going to go ahead and build the engine and make it run in the same day. Because that's just with him living in Indiana and coming down here, it'll be like a weekend of domination on the rotary truck convertible, vert truck. So, Calvin's stoked. I'm stoked. I'm stoked. It's, a, it's a unique one. We're happy to have found it. To, uh, to, to bring it back to life. So, anyways, with that, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Calvin, have a safe drive home. Bye, everybody. Keep it real.